Hi, I'm Charlie Love and today I'm going to be talking about Gmail and intercepting content based on word lists. And this is going to be in a Chrome Enterprise tutorial brought to you by Apps Events and Acer. Now to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to intercept mail that's being sent in, in your, to your domain or from your domain. And we're going to intercept that mail based on words that we don't want our users to see. Um, and we're going to take that mail. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to deliver it somewhere else so we can see that it's being delivered. We get the options to quarantine it or put it into spam or whatever. But today what we're going to do, is we're going to direct it to another user. So let me go to show you what we're going to do. So I'm at the admin console just now. So I'm just going to go and click on apps because Gmail is one of our core apps within Workspace. And I'm going to go into Workspace and then I'm going to go into the configurations for Gmail. Now, when we configure Gmail, of course, when we set up the settings, we set those settings up for the various OUs that we have. So uh, you could set up a particular interception for all of your OUs, or you should, what you should really do, first of all, before you do that, is test it on a smaller group of users. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna scroll down to compliance and look at my compliance features. Uh, and within compliance features, I have a number of things that I can do. So I can set things up like a, a footer to the emails. If you want to put a, a notification footer onto your email, that's fine. You can do that here. But what I'm interested in is objectionable content. Configure content filters based on word lists. And I'm gonna do this as setting, and I'm just gonna do it for my school demo organizational unit just um, so that I'm not doing this across the whole domain, I'm just doing it for this demo. So I'm gonna do it in here and I'm gonna just click on configure. Now, what I'm gonna do is I've got a word list that I'm going to use and that word list, here it is. So the words beer, widget and hobbit are all gonna be blocked. They're going to, they are, they are words on which I wish to intercept mail and redirect it. So what I'm going to do, your word list should ideally be commerce separated. Um, capitalization isn't important. Um, just don't use square brackets. If you are going to use square brackets, then you need to create some sort of rule with regex. I'm not sure why you'd want to use square, square brackets, um, but anyway. So that's my word list, which I'm just going to copy. And then I'm going to pop back here. So I'm going to... Uh, set up my objectional content rule. I said these are my uh, uh, blocked words, and it's going to. I'm going to do this for all email that's being received, all mail coming in and out of the domain. I could just do this if I wanted to do this just for mail that's going outbound, that's being sent. I could just do outbound, and if it's being sent internally, I could do it just sending internally, but I'm going to do it for everything. And I'm going to have some custom, custom objectionable words. And in here, I'm going to paste in my words that were blocking content based on. And what I can do is I've got some options. I can change some, I can change the headers in the mail. I can make it fishy. Um, I could add some custom headers if I wanted. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepend a custom subject. So what I'm going to have, you'll have the email subject, but before that, I'm going to put something and I'm just going to write the words blocked. Um, and that'll be, so the message will be um, diverted to a recipient that I'm going to put in in just a second. And um, it'll have the word blocked in the subject line. Grand. Um, and now what I'm going to do is just change the envelope recipient. Now I could have, I've had multiple email delivery routes. I could change the route. I could change the domain. I could mark it so that it bypassed the spam filter. So that, yeah, because I want this mail not to go to my spam filter. I want this mail to be received by someone um, because they want to see what's being blocked. Uh, I'm going to change the envelope. And in this case, I'm going to replace the recipient with a different email address. So I'm going to direct this to a teacher at um, this domain, demoworkspacedu.com. 
Um, I could replace the domain and not the username. So if you want to direct the mail somewhere else where the users were, you could do that. I'm going to by bypass the spam filter. Um, I could add further, dis further recipients. I could remove attachments. A range of different options there that I've got. And there's some more options as well around address lists, using address lists to bypass uh, or control the application setting. Um, so I could make this rule not apply to particular addresses or particular accounts or groups. Um, so I've now set that up. I'm going to save that rule. So let's go and have a look at what happens when we now send an email with one of those blocked words. So I'm now signed in using an account that's in that OU that I used for that objectionable content uh, rules. So what I've got here is I'm just going to send an email um, with a couple of the words in that we've got in that word list. So I'm just going to send that. And then I'm going to hop across to the account that we're going to redirect that message to. So I've just switched over to my um, the a teacher account. That's the one that I was redirecting the mail to. And you'll see here that the email that we sent, that the student sent, um, that contained the block, the, the, the content that we wanted to block, has been intercepted. It's been redirected. Blocked has been append, prepended to the subject. And the information is here. So we know that this is one of the blocked emails and you could look at that. So if it was an issue that you need to deal with, something you need to investigate, you now have a copy of the email that was sent, intercepted and not delivered because it contained that objectionable content. So thank you for watching this uh, Chrome Enterprise tutorial with Apps Events and Acer. My name is Charlie Love. Thanks very much.